you throw a stone into the sea, you can build an ice and sea square on it. But more and more tourists come, and the people behind don't have a good vision. The smart you can think of can hit the middle of the square and lift it up, so that the people behind can come to a higher platform through the steps and won't be blocked by the people in front. At the same time, you can also use the cross between the platforms to create more backstages and use the steps to connect the ground on both sides so that you can get more off-sea platforms. Then, in order to enrich the square function, you dig two lower floors in the middle of the square and set the stairs as a river stage inside so that there are two large spaces on the roof. But the roof of the square is not special enough. The smart you can think of can put the orange in the middle of the square as the roof and put the three halves forward and the other half backward so that it looks both elegant and like a shell in the deep sea. But the complex curved shape makes it hard for the workers to do it. So you cut the orange in the middle of the square and put the half of it on the 75 meter ball surface so that the curves of different sizes can be supported by the structure of the same radius which makes the construction easier. So you just need to put the same orange as a support frame and put the same curved mixed clay slabs on it so that you can easily achieve the orange shape. Finally, you use the same method to add a restaurant next to it to improve the use of the whole building. So congratulations, you designed the Sydney Opera House.